edge stops. It takes a lot of control to perfect this move. Be patient with yourself and really focus on the form here. It's worth it, believe me. As soon as you perfect this move, you'll see great improvements in your blocking, one-on-one -on -one and with a partner and a wall. Here we go. A good way to think about these edge stops is that they're like a T-stop, but in the front. So whereas a T-stop brings you to a slower stop by dragging your foot behind you, like that, an edge stop uses that same motion, but in the front and brings you to a very abrupt stop here, there. To get the form right, we'll start from a standstill. Take your right leg completely off the ground, point your right toes in, bend your left knee, and try to put your right foot down at a 90 degree angle. All right, now let's do the same thing, but with your left foot. So standing still, pick your left foot completely off the ground, point your left toes in, bend your right knee, and put your left foot down at as close to a right angle as possible. There we go. Throughout the entire move, you wanna keep your shoulders square, your chest up, and as awkward as it is, you want to keep your hips square through the whole move. Now that we've got the form, let's get rolling. We're gonna start at a super slow pace. Just a little push here, right leg up, right toes go in, left knee bends, and right foot down at 90 degrees. When you're just learning these stops, it's really common to have a weaker side. Your goal should be for your right and your left leg to have equal stopping power. It's very important to be able to block with your right and your left leg in both directions. If you can only block in one direction, then you're half as effective as you could be out there. Now get out there and work on it. 